Hi everybody, Jason Robinson, CEO of SolarBuzz. Just wanted to do a quick recap for the net billing events that you may have seen us been uh, posting about on Instagram, which ended up with the ministry releasing a press release um, admitting that there's been some issues and then saying that those issues are because of restructuring. For those of you who don't know what net billing is, um, in the solar industry, you are allowed to sell back excess power from your solar system to the grid and JPS will give you a credit on your bill. Mainly we do this for commercial clients because they have larger systems um, and they may be overproducing more often during the week when they're open, but also they on the weekends uh, for those clients that are closed Saturday and Sunday or just one of those days, it benefits them to have net billing because they have a very large solar system and that system will produce power when the sun is out regardless if they are open. So that excess power is sent to the grid and sold to JPS. They buy it back for a very low rate of 30% of the rate that you pay them. So by setting it at 30% of the rate that you, you pay them, it doesn't benefit us or you to be to oversize your solar system. It does give you commercial clients back some credit, therefore it, uh, it is a benefit. To access net billing, there is a process that we have to go through. As a solar company, we provide this service for our clients. It's very tedious, there's too much red tape. It will average six months at the earliest to get that license from what we've seen in the last couple of years. At some points it was two months, three months, a year. It fluctuates depending on what's going on with net billing. Net billing is a part of the Ministry of Energy. The office is at the PCJ building. We have to turn in all our applications there. The application is onerous, too much red tape, asks for way too much information from clients initially. Um, and then the ministry's engineers have to go through it. I'm not sure why the ministry has engineers that goes through the net billing applications in such detail with drawings, etc. cetera, um, when the GER is the person that signs off on all these drawings and, um, and the actual installation and approves it before it goes to JPS, who then implements the net billing. I will also put the videos that I had posted on Instagram stories that led to the press release from the ministry and also got a lot of support from the public at the end of this video. So if you stick around, you can kind of see the events that led to us finally getting some acknowledgement of what's going on with net billing. They're saying they, they're going to restructure it. So let's see. But to recap the week's events, I went there with a, uh, an application to turn in. I was told that there was no one in the office that could accept the application. Um, I explained to them that I haven't heard from the net billing office in three months regarding the last applications I submitted. So in the last three months, uh, for any new application that has been submitted, no company has been contacted by the net billing office. Um, no emails that we usually get within two weeks of submitting an application. Uh, I was told that at this point on Monday, they couldn't even accept the application. We have clients that spend a lot of money on solar. Part of the payback process that they take into consideration is the net billing credit that they get back on their bill. And these larger commercial manufacturers, most of them, want net billing. They need net billing to be competitive in the region. But when the net billing office is not responding after three months, their excuse is that someone had resigned and that they have been unable to replace that person. So therefore the office is just not being attended to and random people accept applications if they're available. The person who was in charge before was very good. Uh, we knew him, and, but we all knew he was leaving weeks in advance. Um, he left a manual that I saw him preparing before he left. So the step-by-step -step booklet is there for them to have put someone in place, which was not done. So the excuse of not being able to find someone to fill the position, it disregards their customers' needs, which are clients who need to offset their JPS bills, which are mostly businesses and manufacturers who need to be competitive. Once I left that office that day without being able to turn in the application. I made an Instagram story video, which we posted. Um, I then went back the next day to see if I could get any further answers. And I was greeted by someone who is now the division head named Todd Johnson, a nice person. And he, he explained to me that yes, they are unable to fill the position there in the office. So no one is really working at the net billing office, but they are accepting applications. He wasn't sure why the person told me they couldn't accept mine and that they are restructuring. I made another Instagram story video about my experience that day. And then the Thursday, the Ministry of Energy released finally a, a statement apologizing for not 
communicating to the public that net billing office is going through some restructuring. Again, as I said, if you're going to be restructuring and you're unable to accept applications in a timely fashion or respond to people, they should have been told from the beginning. There's way too much red tape anyway with the, with the net billing process. It should not take six months just to get out of the ministry because of all the things that they want you to turn into and have your clients sign off on. I think the process is there to discourage people. Most solar companies in Jamaica have stopped even applying for net billing because they don't think it's worth it. Their clients don't think it's worth it, the hassle. And therefore they just suppress the power and don't sell back to the grid. That, that leads to solar systems not being able to be signed off by the GER. Are they installed correctly? Are they in, in, installed to code? So when you overburden things with red tape, and you don't run it in a, in, a, in a proper fashion, people will go around it or stop using it. And therefore, they won't be able to, to keep track of how much solar is actually on the grid. So you have to make these things easy and basic. It should be uploaded online, it should be paid for online, and then the GER should do what he is hired to do, which is really assess and pass the system. Ministry doesn't really need to be doing that. I did go and try to submit my application yesterday. Unfortunately, I went in the afternoon and I saw this, this sign which i'd never seen before so i don't know if this is a new thing but well you can't pay for the application fee after 1 p.m again a bit ridiculous so i hope that this has changed as well uh, we're happy that the the ministry did release a statement apologizing i want to thank you all for all the help we had a lot of manufacturers uh, reach out to us and to the ministry from what i've heard uh, we had a lot of business people uh, reach out to us and also to the ministry um, I want to thank the ministry and uh, uh, Minister Vaz for responding so quickly, and we will keep you posted on the process. Thank you all. Thank you for all the support on this. We we got some pro we got progress again, and we will um, keep you posted. So thank. You. Well, guys, I'm at the Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica. We're returning our net billing applications. I was just turned away. Um, I was told that a Kevin Gallimore will be updating me. Um, I inquired on four applications that I turned in for net billing four months ago and I've gotten zero response. Uh, usually we get an email at least acknowledging the drop off. Uh, we're told that someone resigned and since then I guess nothing is happening. There's a lot of rumors flying around that maybe the, the, the net billing has been shut down but this is outrageous. We can't have um, policies encouraging Vision 2030, etc. And we can't get any answers from that billing for four months when we're turning in applications. And coming here to drop off applications, we're turned away. They're not taking in any applications because uh, the per there is no one working the front desk and anyone else who could help us is not available. So clients are not able to get the net billing applications turned in or signed off on right now. Um, and we've had a backlog on the solar bus side for four months. So I'll wait to see what Mr. Kevin Gallimore tells us. And then we can go from there and see if we can start getting some answers or maybe we have to ask the Minister of Energy. I don't know, but I'll keep you posted. All right, guys. So I came back to the PCJ building, net billing office, as you know, I was about to leave when someone did come out of that office. Uh, the principal for the director of energy, Mr. Todd Johnson. He apologized, explained to me that the net billing program is not closed down. Um, it's just being revamped. Uh, they've been working on trying to make it um, a smoother process for everyone. But in so doing, over the last few months, they have not informed anyone. So in fact, they just, when they had people resign, they haven't been able to fill those spots. And instead of putting out a statement or letting anyone know, the office has just been sitting dormant and people will randomly accept applications when you come there, but they don't have anyone manning the net billing office. So yes, there's a huge backlog right now, but they're working on it. I've asked them if they could please put out a statement. They said they cannot, um, without the approval or that statement has to be put out by the permanent secretary, just letting the public know what's happening with net billing. So maybe that will happen. Um, I'll try and see if we can get that done. But just so you know, you can turn in net billing applications um, if someone comes to the door and they'll accept it, but nothing is being processed at the moment. As I mentioned, I have um, applications in three to four months. With, I have not even gotten the initial acceptance email acknowledging that they've been turned in. I know they're revamping the process, but 
This is typical of how things have been going within that building over the years. They do things on their own time, with their own rules, and we are not kept, inform kept informed. Um, and it just makes it look like they don't care about you know their clients. So I'll, I'll keep on keep on top of it, and I'll let you guys know the progress that we can hopefully uh, make by staying on top of this situation.